Hey, it's the Gord Gameplay bringing you a quick guide on how to fly. If this is your first time, this is going to be a great video for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to fly with your first little ship. I already called my ship at the terminal here. It is Hangar 9, so I'm quickly going to make my way to the doors. You might have a different location, but just know it's mostly the same. Just look for the hangar doors and go to your ship. I just wanted to include this, maybe you don't know. But we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to my hangar. You can also look at your ship, you will see hangar 9. Flying is quite easy, you just need to get the hang of it. Once you know the key bindings, it's quite easy. This is why this video is here. So this is my first little ship here, little Aurora. There's the hangar up here. So the first thing we want to do is get inside. Just open by pressing F. We can enter. We'll see that we can close it and so forth. You get any seat also if you'll basically get the prompts anyway, so you'll definitely know that. But we're going to flight ready our ship. To flight ready our ship, it is Alt R. So if you press Hold Alt, left Alt, and then press R, you should be able to fire up your ship and you should be good to go. Next up, we need to open up the hangar at the very top here. We're going to press Alt N. Get the clear to launch prompt, you'll see it will start opening at the very top. Now we just need to wait until the doors are open and we should be good to go. Move your head around like I do, it's just what you're holding Z and you can just move around with your mouse. Basically a free look. Once it's open, you can hold spacebar, you go up. You can see here we are up. There's some debris laying around somewhere as well. You can go third person by pressing F4 just to give you a little bit more space to look around your ship. But we don't need it. I like first person. So first person. Now that we're here, we're going to take up, put our landing gear up. We're going to press N. By doing this, we will be able to go past, past 30 speed. We'll see our speed increase here if you increase or decrease your speed you're going to use scroll wheel you'll see there's like a little box here right here this is where you can increase or decrease your speed now we're going to have to quantum travel to be able to go to a station on each planet the city where you begin there will be a station just above the planet where you can go to so I'm quickly going to show you how to do that. If you just hold B, you will enter nav mode. This will allow your ship to go a little bit more quickly than the regular combat mode. If you want to go back to combat mode, you just hold B again. And your shields just come up and you will be able to use your weapons. So I'm just going to go into flight mode again here. You'll see that the screen changes. There's a lot of things that's going on. You see all of these markers or jump points but we specifically want to go to the station right on top of this planet so to set the marker we press f1 we navigate to the bottom here to maps once it maps you're going to see the whole map here if we zoom out you'll be able to see the whole map but currently i am located on the hurston planet here so if i zoom in eventually you'll see but that is Everest Harbor. You'll eventually learn all of the planets. But I'm going to click on Ever Everest Harbor. I'm going to press R. You can see I will be able to set a marker. Press F1 to go out of it again. Somebody just locked me for some reason. Now hover over the icon. Oh, this, does, this is the only icon that will show up. Once spooled, you just click left click and you should be able to travel to the station and if you want to go out of this mode again just hold B and you should be able to go into combat mode now the rest of the flying I forgot to say if you want to go forward obviously is W if you want to go backward it is S sideways it is D and A just like a first pers person game if you want to roll, it's E. And if you want to roll the other way, it is Q. 
that's basically all that you need to know there's also a boost which can increase your speed by boosting you'll see this bar will go down then you can boost so that's the basics of it right now our ship is in a neutral power state for example here is the power triangle hopefully you can see you can change this eventually you can set any keybind to it but by default i believe it is the f keys f f4 f6 so f5 i think f5 is weapons and then we go with the f6 and then f7 and i believe you can reset it with f8 my keyboard is a little bit uh can't see the lettering on it anymore because it's so used so i had to lean forward but basically f5 f6 f7 and f8 just to put your power management power management so if you put all everything to weapons you'll gain more power to weapons more shots everything to weapons you will use a little bit less boost and you have a little bit more maneuverability and if you put everything to shields you will be able to have a little bit more shield hp so that's just the basics you can use that in combat if you want to if you want to target somebody in combat you just press t and you should be able to select them and start firing but let me teach you how to talk here how to request landing at the station this should conclude our basic training then but let's get to the station here so that we can dock a dedicated combat guide would probably be good for you if you can find one but i haven't made one yet so we're at the station we want to dock right so alt n will request docking the station there's a landing bay if you go too fast towards something and you're going to crash into it just press x it's space break so it will slow you down immediately now if we want to land you can see here is the hole this is also the icon you'll see the hanger as well you just press n to take out your landing gear then you can press f4 to go third person now we can slowly but surely go down in this hole hopefully we can do it you can use z to tilt the camera so they get like a person third person view i'm just going in sideways then you can slowly but surely land usually i use joysticks so i'm not too familiar with the keyboard anymore but i do know all the key bindings once on the ground you can press f4 again go first person turn off your engine always turn off your engine by pressing i then you're good if you want to turn on your engine again you can press i again yeah just a quick little tutorial on how to fly nothing too complicated pretty decent if you ask me if this video was helpful please leave a like and if you want to see more videos from me then you can subscribe and i'll see you in my next video